As one of the busiest single runway facilities in the nation, safety and security are top priorities at Scottsdale Airport. The airport offers outstanding year-round flying conditions, convenient departures and arrivals, and proximity to renowned dining, upscale shopping, resorts, and more. The city, especially the Scottsdale's Aviation Department, is responsible for maintaining the safety and security of the airport facility, runways, and taxiways. While we hope there's never an actual emergency, we want to be prepared for the worst case scenario at the Scottsdale Airport. To achieve that mission, Scottsdale Airport organized an emergency drill. The airport participated in a simulated crash with fire, police, airport operations, and other agencies. Scottsdale Tower, this is Lear, November 3321, inbound from the north. We are declaring an emergency. We are experiencing severe hydraulic problem and need immediate clearance to land. Clear 733 Scott the Tower into right base, runway 2-1, clear to win. From the moment the tower broadcasted an emergency alert, our highly trained employees went into action. First responders were on the scene in 45 seconds. It's really important for us to conduct a drill on site here at the actual airport to uh, see how our firefighters react, how the uh, Scottsdale Airport operations reacts, and really put us to the test. Organizers meticulously coordinated a realistic and complex crash scene, complete with a burning model aircraft, detached fuselage, and moulage victims. This was the worst case scenario for us. It was one of the bigger planes, low impact, with fire involvement, away from the station, so you had to travel quite a ways to get there. And then to have 15 patients, we don't usually have that. If we have a landing gear down or something, it's usually one, one soul on board. So for us to have a crash on the airport and to be able to practice that, that was huge for us. Scottsdale's on-site fire crew at Station 609 undergo extensive aircraft rescue firefighter training and are ready to deal with all types of aircraft emergencies. It went really well for us to be able to get on scene within a couple minutes, put the fire out, start treating uh, patients. I think we were on scene probably a total of uh, 30 to 45 minutes. Scottsdale Airport is technically not required to do a large-scale drill, but we thought it was important to practice it in real time. With very little time to prepare and new details emerging as the situation unfolded, the city's public information officers responsible for communicating with the public were also tested at a mock news conference. About 9.15, um, we received a call to stage out on the tarmac for uh, a plane coming in for an alert too. Uh, that was quickly upgraded to an alert three. I was very proud of the way staff handled the situation because it came together and it showed that we can work together as a team and that we can build on that. To learn more about Scottsdale Airport, visit scottsdaleairport.com. Scottsdale Airport, your gateway to Scottsdale and the Valley.